We're in Taiwan. We're going to talk a little bit about Forex today, a little bit about data today. Got some charts for you. Um, this is my third take on this video. <laughs> That's the adventures of having a new computer. And it's just, it's just new. And my program that I record this on um, actually had to be replaced because when I moved it from my old computer, it didn't work, of course. So I had to buy another program, the same one, but it's an updated one and it's all different. So I messed up. All right, so um, what's going on? Just came out over the wires on Ransquark that Prime Minister Abbey is going to inject a stimulus in the very near future because Japan has a um, tax hike, significant tax hike coming up, and he wants to offset that tax hike. So that just came out. Is that going to affect the yen? Who knows? We'll see. Going to take a look at the yen here on the charts in just a couple of minutes. So anyhow, let's um, let's get to it. So today we had some data come out. It's currently, by the way, it's 7.30 a.m., 19.30 on Wall Street on a Tuesday night. So uh, the Aussie had construction work done. Bad number, um, negative 19.4. They were expecting negative 10.1. Um, wage price index year on year, 2.1 versus 2.2. And wage price quarter on quarter came out good at 0.6. And uh, let's see, what else is going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So let's see, a couple of speakers out. Um, French services PMI today. Um, German manufacturing PMI today. Manufacturing PMI out of the euro. Um, the Great British Pound has a ton of data today. They have a lot of data coming out today, so keep an eye on that. Average earning index um, plus bonus comes out today. Climate count change comes out today. Um, unemployment rate comes out today. And they don't expect any change. They expect to stay at 4.3. Um, and then we're going to get on more stuff as we get later in the day. And then we have the U.S. session. And we have um, not much. <laughs> Not much on that sector. Let's go back to the pound. Um, BOE Governor Carney speaks today. And infl inflation report hearings today. Um, manufacturing PMI out of the states and existing home sales out of the states. Yeah, wild, huh? Just wild. Nothing going on um, in Asia tomorrow um, that you need to worry about. So let's see. Um, gold is currently... Um, 1,332.20, it's amazing, this can't stay above that 33 level, right? Gets above 133 within hours, it dumps back down again, right? Um, WTI crude is at 61.61, and Brent oil is at 65.08, heading for 70. Um, U.S. coffee is negative 0.42% today. All right, let's... Uh, Take a look at um, S&P futures is 0.18% um, in the green. NASDAQ futures is 0.16 in the green. The Dow is 1.01 uh, in the negative. Um, S&P 500 VIX is positive 5.86% with the DAX positive 0.83. And the U.S. dollar index is hovering at that 90s at 89.64. Hopefully we'll see a break in that today. So that's what's going on there, my friends. Let's hit to the charts. Um, and yeah, well, because I've done this three times, of course, the dollar index is up. So we'll do the dollar index first today. And the dollar index is making its way to the upside. You know, it's, it's going sideways now, but at least it's in an uptick. We really want to see this get above 90 this week. So we got three days left. Let's see if we can get this above 90 on the dollar index. Um, that, that's good for everybody, right? So let's take a look at the euro yen. So here's the euro yen. And, and this is in a wedge, you can see this. And, you know, this is an ascending wedge. And, and nice thing about ascending wedge is that it's a bearish move, right? So we want to see this basically break to the downside. However, this wedge is at 132.70. The bottom of this wedge is at 132, like 10, right? 15. So if you can see, this is now pumping up to the top of this wedge. If it gets bearish up there, shows us a bearish formation. Sell this, my friends. Sell it. This is a great trading opportunity. This is a great setup here. And uh, yeah, let's take advantage of this. 
we need the euro to get a little weak and uh, the yen just to maintain its um, its motion, right? Because the yen's been strong. You've got to be admit, the, the yen is strong, right? Let's take a look at the euro. Here's the euro. You know, this thing is in a, in a drastic downfall from yesterday. And what we want to see here is, listen, the, the big thing is this can just go sideways and then just continue to go lower. Then you just wait for a retest of that resistance level and then sell it. What are you going to do at this point? I want to pull back to the 50% Fibonacci level. We'll get in this at 124.40. It's a safe trade. If we get to 124, we've made profit. The trade is a free trade. We don't have to worry about nothing. I really don't want to get in this at 124.13 at the 3A2, even though that's not a bad level to get in it. But you're coming back into some heavy support. So that's not a good idea, right? Not a good idea. Let's take a look at the New Zealand dollar. So here's the New Zealand dollar. This is a this is a nice little trade. It's sort of um, just need this pullback up to the 618, and we'll get this up to 7400. Get priced back up to that 7400, and then sell it. Right, just sell it from there. Listen, at the 50 percent, there's a possibility you can get in there too, and that's at 73. You know, 7390. 7390. You might be able to get in this again. You know, there's some good resistance there. So just keep an eye out on it. So I think at every FIB level, I think we might have an opportunity to get in this trade and, and continue to the downside. Of course, the nice one is, of course, the 618, as the arrow indicates, right? Okay, let's take a look at the... Um Here's a Euro Aussie. You know, this thing just took off to the downside. There's really nothing to do here. It's pretty ugly. At where current prices and what current candles are doing, so we're not going to do anything at this point. Traders, that is it for me. Um, <laughs> this is take three. <laughs> Hopefully, this works. Traders, thanks for being with me. We will see you tomorrow morning in Asia, I promise. And uh, have a great trading day. Always remember to trade smart and not hard. See you tomorrow, my friends. Bye bye.